guys, how's it going? Uh, Tuesday after work, um, had supper and out in the garage. Uh, today, in this video, I'm going to uh, play around with the uh, with the bumper a little bit. I'm still working, doing metal work and stuff on the uh, tailgate, but I think I've shown enough of that. It's got to be getting dull by now. I'm going to do some stuff in the bumper. Uh, it's mostly stripping the back side of it and straightening out a couple of little dents or whatever. Um, so nothing, nothing major, but I want to get it ready to do a little bit of putty work and get it ready for primer. So we're going to do that. Before I get into that though, uh, something that happened at work today was kind of cool. It gave me an idea. So, uh, this big Ford E450 cube van, uh, came into the shop and the uh, body guy started tearing it down. Uh, it was hitting the front. Um, so all the parts that were going into this big bin and they're wheeling it out to the to the garbage bin. And uh, I noticed the big chrome grill sticking out. So I said, you know, hey, thinking of wall hangers, right? So, I mean, the grill is plastic, but it looks chrome. And it's got the big, you know, good size Ford the oval in it. So uh, I said, wait, it's where you're throwing it out. I said, yeah. I said, well, can I snag it? Make a wall hanger for my garage. Yes, yeah, sure, go ahead. So I grabbed it, threw it in the back, back of my truck, and brought it home. So, uh, yeah, I'll show a little bit about uh, wall hangers, and uh, and then we'll get on that bumper. So, let's get to it. All right, so this is a uh, functional wall hanger. Um, it's actually the brightest source of light I have in the, uh, in the shop. It's a 67 GMC uh, grill, and it's, I sectioned the, the hood and stuck it on there. Uh, it's welded together and everything, but, uh, you know, put a couple of light sockets in it and a couple of light bulbs and away you go. You got a, you got a functional uh, wall hanger. So I did that, what, two years ago, I guess, and I use it all the time. So it worked today. Like I said, they were throwing this out and it's, you know, it's a pretty interesting piece. It's got the big, uh, the big blue oval. And the interesting part is this thing actually uh, hit a moose. And <laughs> the moose hair is still in it, <laughs> and it's staying in it, so it's gonna hang on the wall just like that. I thought it was pretty cool, so uh, yeah, I'm not gonna get on it anytime soon, but I'm gonna put it away, and eventually it'll it'll be up in the wall. And I see I see me uh, acquiring quite a few items like this. I'm only gonna go for the interesting ones. I mean, who, who the hell cares about a Hyundai front grill or whatever? I don't. Uh, so, yeah, so there we go. So, it's actually not a bad looking piece, and uh, I think it'll look good hanging on the wall. And I also have this, don't mind the furnace. This is a 50 Ford. Um, I believe I have a really rough, badly rusted and banged up hood that I can cut the front maybe six inches off of and set, set that on there and weld it on. And I might even have a couple of uh, partial fenders that I could put on. And I'll make a light fixture out of this guy, too. Um, this was uh, on my 50 Ford, but I swapped it out for a Merc. Uh, it's a lot more chrome, fancier kind of grill and stuff like that. So, yeah, we're putting the Merc front clip on mine. So this one is a spare. And it's kind of grungy, but uh, it'll look great hanging on the wall. So there you go. That's three already. I also have a 56 Chevy uh, car that uh, I've got an extra front clip for it. It's in really good shape. So the one that's on the car, I'm going to cut it off. I'm going to make a, I've got an extra grill as well with that. So I'm going to make a 56 Chevy car light fixture also. So uh, yeah. So you know, it's uh, it'll be in interesting when uh, when I do it. I'll, I'll make a video about it when I am doing it. But, uh, you know, smashed up pretty good. Like I say, it's just plastic. But, you know, hanging on the wall, what the hell. So there you go, wall hangers. All right, so I just want to clean up the underside of the bumper. There's a little bit of surface rust towards where it was at the bottom. Uh, this would be the top edge. So, uh, yeah, we'll just clean it up with one of these jobbies.
I don't have to go too crazy here and get it right down to bare metal. I'm just doing the inside with uh, uh, rust paint, trim clad, or whatever. Um, so, yeah, the back's got to go bumper. <laughs> That's it. Now, I also have one little kink. See it right here. So, I'm going to get it on my piece of railway track to use for an anvil. See if I can beat that down just a little bit. So, uh, I'll set up the camera and we'll get to that. Alright, so I tried this already with my uh, body hammer, but uh, the hammer is too light. It's just not enough hammer, so uh, we're going bigger. Even better. Almost got it. That's pretty good. All right. Let's clean up a little bit of rust and stuff on this side. Got a little little tiny dent here. So I'm gonna have to get something a little rougher here for the uh, body filler to stick to. Right, too 
we're good to go. So I'll mix up a little bit of, uh, no, I'm going to skip that. I think what I'm going to do first is get the underside painted up. I'm just going to use trim clad with a brush, more than likely. Same as I did with the, uh, the uh, bumper brackets. So there you go. Hey, here we go. A little shot of rust paint. Cheap old brush. Got it at the buck store. Of course, they call it the buck store, and it's two bucks. Because <laughs> the buck store sells it for a buck. That's what I say. But who am I trying to kid? What do you buy for a buck now? Nothing. I don't even think you can get a pack of gum for a buck. I'm going to say this is probably going to need two coats, but it's covering really, really well. Just to show you how big moose are top of that grill when it was on the uh, truck it was about shoulder height on me and uh, it looks like that's where uh, the bottom of his belly hit so they're big ass animals man This stuff takes forever to dry for whatever reason. Um, so I'll, this is probably all I'm going to get done tonight. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. But that's okay. It's a school night. I've got to work tomorrow. Got to be bright eyed and bushy tailed, as they say. <laughs> Haven't had any real screw ups at work this last few, few days, so that's good. Hit my stride, I think. Yeah, one coat's gonna do it. Here we go, right on. See you tomorrow night. Uh, hey guys, uh, next day. So uh, my paint's dry now, and uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of putty work on this thing, straighten it out, and then, uh, yeah, should be uh, ready for primer. So uh, I've already taken some putty out, and where is my hardener? Damn it, oh, right here. Okay, we're good. Change the camera angle here a little bit. There we go. All right. it up those nice and consistent color
mixed up a little bit too much. Yeah, that should do her. Get that set up and sand it and ready for primer. All right, so we're all sanded out now. A couple of little spots, that's all it was. And it's good. So uh, this thing is ready for primer. So there we go. One primer ready bumper. I'm going to finish this thing off next. That'll be the next video, I guess. And then hopefully by then, I'll have the metal work done on this thing. Man, it's a lot of work in that tailgate. Anyway... That's it for today anyhow so uh there you go all right so there you go bumper is primer ready um gonna get on that uh filler panel between the bumper and the grill and text get that out of the way and uh this weekend i really really got to get that tailgate finished off man so uh most of my hours on the weekend will be on that thing um yeah because i gotta get these things painted there's uh th these are the last little bits left that need paint so uh I gotta hammer this stuff out. Hopefully, get some nice weather next week and get uh, get everything painted. Um, and then it's just a little bit of wiring and uh, gauges and stuff like that. So I do need a few parts and bits and pieces. Um, so I'm gonna have to order some shit in, but uh, whatever. You know, there's always a few things you need. Little things like uh, seal beam headlights. Um, yeah. So gonna be online there for a bit maybe next week and order in a few few things that I need I still need two new uh, two front tires as well 14 inch uh, so I think I'm just gonna buy them brand new uh, those were the ones I have for the back are Canadian tire but they're Cooper tires um, so I'm gonna see if we can get the matching set from Canadian tire but in 14 inch hopefully they have them uh, what else yeah, that's about it, I guess. This place needs a major cleanup, though, I can tell you that. It'd be nice to open up the big door and clear this sucker out and make some room. Uh, maybe even put my my 50 Ford outside. Um, I don't I think we're done with winter now, he said, hopefully. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, you know, I'm still below freezing this morning, so whatever. It is what it is. Welcome to the great white north. Anyway, uh... So, if you like the content, please subscribe. And, uh, you know, don't be shy. Leave comments and tell your buddies. Uh, help spread the word. And, uh, yeah. Just trying to grow the channel and uh, keep it rolling. Even though I am working. Uh, it's still, I still have fun doing it. But, uh, I'm starting to get my energy back. Uh, you know, I get off work and, man, for the first couple of weeks, I just didn't feel like doing anything after work. But, uh. I'm starting to get some have some energy back so uh getting into shape i guess but uh so there you have it so that's about it for today i guess and uh you know if you're not doing anything get up the garage and build something man later guys <laughs>